So welcome to another Yacht Chris video. And in this video, we're going to start germinating one of the most iconic tropical looking plants. And that is the bird of paradise plant, also known as Strelitzia regeni, named after George III's wife, I believe. And these seeds, which we'll get a closer look of in a second, are very, very hard and black with little orange tufts on them. And to germinate them, you need to sort of break down the outer coating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak these in water for a couple of days. But before I soak them in water, I'm going to just nick the surface of the seeds and we're going to remove the orange tufts. Now, birds of paradise, um, you think of them as very exotic, very tropical plants, but actually they come from South Africa, so more of a Mediterranean climate where they get nice hot summers, hot dry summers, and sort of mild, wetter winters. And in the UK, normally see them grown in conservatories, and some people do plant them out for summer as well. Now, growing from seed, you have to have a lot of patience. At germination time, it's normally a couple of months. I've germinated them before, and I think it took about four or five weeks before the, the seeds did germinate. And for them to flower from seed, you're looking at three to five, six, seven, eight years, something like that, depending on how well they're looked after, and how much growth they get throughout the year. And I found that the birds of paradise plants, I used to find them in DIY stores and garden centers quite a lot. But in the last year or so, I've been looking for the plants. I've not actually found them, found more heliconias and loads of different indoor plants, but the bird of paradise has been a bit harder to find. So I'm gonna grow these from seed. And this packet of seed I got from, it was gifted to me from Madeira. And there's only three seeds in a pack, so hopefully they all germinate. And where these have been stored within Madeira, this probably I think we bought at the airport or in like a, um, a greengrocer's supermarket. So they might not have been kept in our ideal conditions. Since I've had them, I've kept them in the fridge, they're nice and cool, about five degrees, cutting the shelf of the fridge. So hopefully it will germinate. Now, like I said, you've got to be really patient. But we're going to do our best to get them to germinate by making sure the outer case is broken down a bit by soaking and nicking the seeds. So that is what I'm going to do now. So I need to remove the orange fluff this tuft on the side of the seed. So I'm just going to pull that off. And hopefully that comes off pretty easily, like so. I'll do that with the third one. And this is just basically how the seeds formed in the, the after the flower has died has this fluff attached to them, which is not needed for germination, might inhibit it, so I've removed that. And now we're going to make a nick in these. So you can basically rub them on sandpaper or with a file, or in my case, I'm just going to use some nail clippers and just nick the side of the seeds. So we've got the seed here. You can use pliers to hold them steady, or I'm just holding them between my fingers. And then with the edge, the corner, I'm just going to nick the side of the outer hard shell and you can see there's a little bit of white now showing and that means water can easily get in and help with the germination process. I've done that to a couple of seeds, just do this to the last seed. So again, the edge so you can see that there. And obviously if I had loads of seeds, I would probably use a sandpaper method, but I've only got three. So I'm happy to do this method. It's pretty easy. And you get a good bit of the, the white inner seed showing. So now I've got my three seeds prepped. I'm going to just put them in water and I will soak them in water for a couple of days 
I'll change the water a few times as well and I'll keep this little pot sort of underneath a radiator on the ground so it's pretty warm in the house just to start the germination process or hopefully start it because it does take several weeks and then after a couple of days I will put them into compost about two or three centimeters deep in just basically seed sowing compost on ins number one in a little pot and I'll put that in the propagator where it's nice and warm kept above 20-25 degrees and hopefully we'll see these germinate in the next video